Hello, welcome to your video on the quadratic formula. You'll be able to solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. So let's get started. First thing you need to know is what is the quadratic formula, um, and it is shown right here for you. It is the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a. So how does the quadratic formula work? How did it come to be? Um, for those of you who are really curious, um, here's the steps for you, and I'm just gonna, you can pause it here if you'd like. Um, but basically, if you give generic A, B, and C terms, um, if you just don't have numbers there, you can use the completing the square process, um, and you'll end up with the quadratic formula. Next question is, how do I use the quadratic formula? Obviously, you need to not only know what it is, but how to use it. Um, so you're going to use the formula that you were given. So opposite of b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 2ac all over 2a. So you're going to use that um, and drag in your information. Um, so here's the first example problem. Uh, and then what you're going to do, um, re just remember that this is your A, B, and C terms. And you're just going to drop them in. So opposite of B would be negative 3 plus or minus the square root of B, so 3, minus 2 times A, which is 2, times C, which is negative 5, all divided by 2 times A, which is 2. Um, and then you just work your way through this following order of operations um, and simplifying it. So we now have negative 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 minus, and then you have the 2 times 2, which is 4, and then 4 times negative 5. So it's going to end up being positive 20 here. Um, and then that's going to be 23. And then all divided by 4. Um, and then now you're going to break this apart into two different options. So my first option is going to be negative 3 plus the square root of 23, all divided by 4. And my second option is going to be negative 3 minus the square root of 23, divided by 4. Now you're going to need a calculator for this. Um, to find the square root of 23, and I've rewritten it there for you, square root of 23 was 4.796. You want to round to probably the thousandths place, just so you're more specific. Um, then you're going to take care of the numerator, so 3 minus that number, and then divide it all by 4. You will end up with an answer of 0.449. You're going to follow the same process for when we have a second answer of the negative. So negative 3 minus the 4.796 all divided by 4. And that will give you an answer of negative 1.949. So those are your two answer solutions. Okay, this next problem looks a tad bit different um, just because it's not written in the same form. But that's okay, you'll just move it so that it does. Um, this will be x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0. And then plug in everything. So the opposite of b would be... 2, because it's negative 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 minus 2 times 1 times negative 8, all over 2a, and that would be 2 times 1. Simplify this down a little bit, um, and you will have 2 plus or minus the square root, and now we have 2 times 1, which is 2, and then 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, but then we have minus, so it makes it positive. So we have negative 2 plus 16. 
and that will give us an answer. So that equals 2 plus square root um, of 14 all over 2 times 1, which is 2. So here's our new um, equation. It is simplified as it gets. And then you break it apart. So 2 plus the square root of 14 divided by 2 or your other option would be 2 minus the square root of 14 divided by 2. And then you just solve. And you can see I kind of broke it down for you. But the first possible solution is here, 2.871. The second possible solution ends up being negative 0 0.871. Last question is, what is the discriminant and how can I use it? Uh, so what it is, is taking your quadratic formula, and it's actually what's in blue. So it's the b squared minus 4 times a times c. Um, that's the discriminant, and you can use it to figure out how many solutions there are. So you know that there's a possibility of two, one, and no real solutions. It's been that way for a while. Um, using the discriminant, um, if this is greater than zero, there's two real solutions. Um, if the discriminant is equal to zero, there is one real solution. And then if it's less than zero, there are no real solutions. Um, so that's a fast version to figure out how many possible solutions are. And then you'll have to find those solutions, but at least you know how many you're looking for. Your turn. What are the solutions for number one using the quadratic formula? So x squared minus 4x equals 21. Find those solutions, um, or solution, I should say. Um, and then number two, how many solutions does 6x squared minus 5x equals 7 have using the discriminant? You don't have to solve on that one. I just want to know how many solutions there would be. Go ahead and solve and then pause the video, or then turn the video back on after you have solved. All right, here are your answers. Check them over, um, and then if you have any questions, bring those to class. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.